Only listen to hypnosis when you can safely relax. Do not drive and hypno. Make sure that you have the time and space to truly focus on your inner self and innermost being. Hello, sweet friend. This is Molly Lou. I have created this Libra New Moon Meditation to help you soak up all the benefits of this phase in the lunar cycle. You may find yourself feeling more in balance and more easily able to connect with your loved ones after this experience. After all, like the moon, we all have our moments of darkness and light. Although this meditation is inspired by the new moon in Libra, I recommend listening to this recording many times to get the most benefit out of it and to help it enhance your life in your romantic relationships and your sense of balance fully and to help your subconscious mind soak up all of the goodness that this moon will bring us. Now, I'm assuming that you're ready to begin and that you have found a space that is not only comfortable, but safe and free of noise as much as possible. Now, you may choose to sit in a seated position, or you may choose to recline. That's up to you. However it is that you're choosing to experience this with me, I'm glad you're here. Now, take a moment to take in three deep breaths. And when you are feeling ready, close your eyes. Your eyes might begin to feel heavy, heavier and heavier, more and more relaxed. Now that relaxation spreads over the rest of your face, up into the muscles in the forehead, down into the jaw, relaxing deeply and comfortably. It might spread down into your neck, relaxing your shoulders. Down, down, down into your arms, your torso, abdomen, hips all the way down your spine, deeply and beautifully relaxed. As the relaxation spreads from your hips down to your knees, softening the joints, deeply and beautifully relaxed, you may notice as it spreads into your feet, grounding you firmly and safely. You may notice as you are relaxed and alert that you feel safer, almost childlike. And now you may notice either with your mind's eye 
or just a feeling or a sense that it's dusk outside. And as your inner child decides to come out and play, it's time for us to go on a walk together, my sweet friend. Now, we are very close to the coolest, most amazing playground that you have ever seen. And we are so close. We count our steps, and with each step we take, you fall more deeply and beautifully relaxed. And you feel a sense of playfulness about you. And safer and safer. Now, we take a step. Ten, nine, deeper and deeper, eight, seven, more and more relaxed, six, five, four, almost there. You can almost feel the sand on your feet from the playground. Three, two, one. Feet on the playground, deeply relaxed, playful, and safe. Now, as we look around, we notice all of the different things on this playground. We also notice that the sky is very, very dark. But even though it's a new moon and the moon is not providing any light, there is beautiful lighting on this playground just for you. Tall, lantern-like lights safely guiding the way to whatever part of the playground you choose to play with. Now, you may notice the slide, tall, strong, and it looks like a lot of fun. So you crawl up the ladder and you slide bravely and safely down, all on your own. You didn't need anyone there to catch you at the bottom, and that's okay. Now, you look around again. Oh, wow. There's a seesaw on this playground. It may have been a while since you saw one of these. They're not on many playgrounds anymore. And although you're by yourself, you want to just sit down and give it a try anyway. As you sit on the seesaw, first you choose to sit on one side, whether it's the left or the right, it's up to you. As you sit down, your weight gently brings it to the ground as the other side tips up to the sky. Now, as you seesaw by yourself, you notice that you can do it, and it's fine. However, there is clearly something missing, 
it might be more fun to share this experience and have a little more balance on the seesaw. But you're having fun and decide that it just doesn't matter as you continue to gently rock back and forth, back and forth. As you look around the playground, gently rocking back and forth, you notice someone else is coming onto this playground. Now, at first, you might find yourself feeling uncertain or curious. What are you feeling in this moment about this new person? Now, as you observe, they too decide to try the slide. You watch them climb, rung by rung, up the ladder, until they make it all the way to the top. You find yourself wondering who this person is. After all, you both chose the slide first. Now, as this new person slides down to the bottom of the slide, they come into the light of one of the many lantern-like structures lighting up this fairy special playground. You realize that this person feels familiar somehow and safe. You don't know why this is, but It doesn't really matter because you know that you can trust your own judgment. You know that you can feel this person's energy and how safe this person is. After all, they too found this very safe and very special playground, just like you did. And this person too was very brave, just as you were and continue to be. Now they walk over one foot at a time, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, and they walk to the seesaw. They gently climb to the other side. Now, you may feel like you want to talk to this person, or maybe you just want to enjoy the experience of being able to finally use the seesaw with someone else. Not everybody enjoys the seesaw, and that's okay. But you are thankful that this person does. Now, as you seesaw gently back and forth, you notice the different feeling 
this seesaw house when there's somebody else balancing out the other side. Now, sometimes in life you realize, although you can do something on your own, we don't always need to. And sometimes it's a different kind of delicious to have more balance in your life. And sometimes it's easier to do that with help. And that is okay. Now, after you're sitting on the seesaw, you start to get a little sleepy. You realize that you also are just ready to go home. Now, you decide to thank your friend. You had such a good time. It was so nice to have that balance to share with this person in your community. In fact, you may wonder who else in this community you could connect to. Who else do you have things in common with? Who else needs a little light to balance out the darkness? As you thank your new friend, and you might choose to give them a big hug, or you might not. That's up to you. But you are ready to start your walk home. As you walk home, you realize how safe and healing this experience truly was. And you know, any time that you need to, you can go back to this playground and meet your new friend there again. Or you don't have to. It's up to you. As you take the final steps to the playground from the house all the way home. Five. Six. Starting to feel more and more connected from this experience in your body. Four, three, you may notice the feeling of the air on your face. Two, one, wide awake, connecting to the world around you and fully conscious of your body and experience. One, two, three, four, five. Eyes open, wide awake. Take as long as you need to connect back with this world. <laughs>